So we get to do uh, a little bit more on adding and subtracting, multiplying, dividing fractions, all that stuff. This will just be a review of that. Uh, so this is going to be the part of the quiz where you don't get to use calculators, so you'll actually need to know how to do these. So for adding and subtracting fractions, uh, we want to give these two guys down here a common denominator. A common denominator for 3 and 6 is going to be 6. So I'm not going to have to change this one at all, but the two-thirds, to make it turn into a 6 in the bottom, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 2 over 2. Okay. That's going to give me 4 sixth plus 5 sixth, which is going to equal 9 over 6. And if you reduce that down, that's going to equal 3 over 2. Cool. All right, on this one, oh, I wonder if I need to pause the video and check my numbering. All right, yeah, so I want to make sure I do these in order. So 3 eighths minus 1 12, that one's next. I'll have to keep the numbering here. Uh, the common denominator for 8 and 12, uh, the lowest common multiple is going to be 24. You could do whatever 8 times 12 is, but it's just going to be bigger than what you need to be. So to make these into a 24, I'll multiply this one by 2 over 2. And I'm going to multiply this one by 3 over 3. All right, that's going to give me a 9 over 24 minus a 2 over 24. Subtract those and you'll get a 7. 7 over 24. That's it. All right. Uh, for multiplying fractions, it's the easiest in the world. You just multiply straight across. So I can just do 5 times 3, that's 45. And then 9 times 8, that's 72. And then I'd have to simplify this. Uh, here, it looks like 3 goes into them. It looks like 9 goes into them. So if I divide top and bottom by 9, I'm going to get a 5 on top and 8 on the bottom. 5 over 8. Okay. Uh, let's see. For this next one, you could think of it as 18 over 1 and work it out that way. Just multiply straight across. What I'm going to do here is, on the fraction part, I'm going to use my denominator for dividing and my top number for multiplying. So I'm going to do 18 divided by 9, which is 2, and then I'm going to times that by 5. 10 is my answer. <clears throat> Alright, uh, dividing fractions, that's easy. You're going to do keep, change, flip. So bring down your 5, 5 over 1, change it to multiplication, and then flip your second fraction. So 3 over 1 is what it becomes, and then 5 times 3, that's equal to 15. Alright, for this one, uh, keep, change, flip. It's going to be 5 thirds multiplied, and if we flip the 4, it's going to be 1 fourth. That's the reciprocal of 4. Cool. I multiply, you get 5 over 12. Sweet. Okay, uh, the other parts that are going to be without a calculator here is uh, finding the vertex. And this guy is in vertex form. So the way that you find the vertex of it just by looking at the equation is it was our translation rules all right the only thing we care about is where where the vertex is going to be because there's a plus seven on the inside that's going to move this thing seven to the left all right and if we go seven to the left that's going to be a negative seven for our x coordinate all right, seven left, and then one unit down because we're subtracting one on the outside. So it's it's going to be seven left and down one. That would be where our vertex is. And that's it. Okay, uh, this one right here. Uh, to find the vertex when it's in standard form takes a little bit of work. Uh, we're going to have to apply the, the negative b over 2a. So this is just going to be how you find the x part of the vertex. you got to do the negative b over 2a. So 
it's going to be negative of a negative 8, which is going to end up being positive, right? Over 2 times a, which is just going to be 2, because the a here is a 1. Right. And that's going to be our x part. So 4. So the x coordinate of our vertex is 4. To find the y part, well, if you know x, you can find the y part by actually plugging it in. Uh, so it's going to be y equals, I'm going to plug in the 4 for these x's. 4 squared minus 8 times 4 plus 22. 16, 32, and 22. All right. 16 minus 32, that's equal to negative 16. Negative 16 plus 22, that's equal to 6. Bam. So those would be the parts that make up our vertex. All right. The x is a 4, y is a 6. All right, that's it for this one.